Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Dish GT and I am back, baby. It feels so good to be uh, finally recording and stuff like that for you guys. It's I'm so happy to finally be back. And then also I've been working on a new channel um, that's going to kind of focus on more of like my more competitive gaming side and stuff like that. And I'm going to, once uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare comes out, I'm going to be uh, kind of working, you know, that's going to be where I'm going to be posting a lot of my gameplay and stuff like that. So I would appreciate if you guys could check out that channel uh it would mean a lot to me but let's stop talking about that channel let's start talking about dauntless so dauntless is kind of a bastard child it's often or not kind of referred to as the monster hunter complete ripoff you know it's just a ripoff of monster hunter world even though i believe this game actually was announced before monster hunter world was announced itself or uh, and I believe it, this game came out in alpha before the Monster Hunter World even came out. I could be wrong about that, but please do not quote me. So please don't quote me on that. But I have been really fucking enjoying Dauntless lately. I've actually went... And it's crazy too, because I've actually been... Dauntless has been on my radar since it was first announced. And when I believe it went into... Oh, when it first went into open beta, I believe this game is still actually in beta. Because I don't believe it had its 1.0 update yet. Um, I played the game and I actually really enjoyed it but I did but because it was on the PC and I'm not I don't really play a whole lot on the PC unless I'm playing on um, unless I'm playing World of Warcraft I didn't really get into it a whole lot fast forward until I think a couple of months ago I believe it was hunt hunter pass or I'm sorry hunt pass like two or something like that where I actually did get back into uh, playing where I actually tried out the game again and I actually ended up getting to Slayer level I think it was 11 before I had put the game down again because you know again it was on the PC and I, I just I'm not on my it, It's easier to boot like think of it like this It's easier for me to boot up my Xbox one than it is to boot up my PC so Typically, I don't play a whole lot of PC games unless I want to play World of Warcraft That's the only time I will be actually be on my PC for long periods of time um, so combine this with the fact that you know it was only on you know uh, PC I didn't really play the game as much as I wanted to until I had actually tweeted at the developers asking them when um, the console versions were coming out because I had heard that there was console versions coming out and I didn't know when they were coming out or any I didn't know anything about it so I tweeted developers and they had responded it coming in the summer so I very much <laughs> awaited um, the game coming out on Xbox one and sure enough when it came out on Xbox one I downloaded it but the game was honestly not that well optimized um, it, it lagged a whole lot it, and stuff like that and honestly I didn't really enjoy myself it wasn't until I would say about two three weeks ago where I actually decided like okay I kind of want to play some Dauntless right now I don't know why but I just had this itch to play Dauntless um, so I ended up I ended up uh, re-downloading it I have to say I have been literally addicted to the game I've been putting hours into the game like I would wake up like early in the morning like we're talking like seven o'clock in the morning before I had to go to work and I would probably play Dauntless until like one until 1 1 p.m. It, it, it was absolutely crazy um, and I want to say that this game doesn't really feel anything like Monster Hunter I can definitely see where the similarities are because you do you're you know you're playing as these hunters per se well in this game they're called slayers but you go out and you hunt these big giant monsters called behemoths i can definitely see where the similarities are but honestly when you actually play the game for yourself it doesn't really feel a whole like a lot like monster hunter not even monster hunter world and monster hunter world is a lot more like an mmo than prior entries in the franchise but this game is more mmo than say that of monster hunter because there you have your big social hub you have your kind of your microtransactions you have you know all these different things that make the game feel more like an mmo if that makes any sense i know that might not make any sense really you know there aren't it isn't like monster hunter world where you have like sessions different rooms and stuff like that it, it and it feels just Dauntless feels a lot more like an MMO. Um, now, I am by no means a pro at this game. If you want to watch a real pro at this game, go watch fucking Odo. He is amazing at this game. His videos have really helped me a lot trying to get back into the game. So go check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Super awesome, super awesome guy. His videos are amazing. Go check him out right now. Would really, I myself would really appreciate if you could go check him out. 
but yeah, you know, so in my, I want to say like two, two and a half weeks of playing uh, Dauntless, I would say that this honestly is a really fun game and I can't wait to see, you know, what the devs have in store for their big 1.0 update when, you know, the game actually full technically goes out of beta and fully releases. Because, I, I, you know, there's a lot of things I would like to see come from this game. And one of the things that I haven't gotten to yet and I haven't tried out yet, but I'm getting to that point. I'm working really hard and grinding to, to, uh, to get that point, to get to that point, is the uh, tri what is it, Trials, Lady Lux Trials, which I've been seeing, like, a lot of, like, the advertisements for. And it looks like a lot of fun. And it's cool because, like, the uh, Dauntless has is crossplay, and I see... Uh, and I see, and I constantly see, like, you know, some of the YouTubers, um, like Odo, on the leaderboard. I'm just like, oh boy, I can't wait to, <laughs> I can't wait to get on the leaderboard myself one day. But, um, but yeah, but, and, you know, I've been really enjoying the game. I've been having a lot of fun. I'm not that good at it, and it doesn't help that, um, for some reason, Xbox does, it doesn't help that Xbox plays us only at 30 frames per second, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, dodging things is a lot harder in my opinion, but I could be wrong compared to when I was on PC, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot harder. And then also, um, right now, currently, my internet my internet is not that bad, because if you guys don't know, I recently moved um, and in with my girlfriend, and her internet wasn't that good, because she doesn't play video games uh, a whole lot. So she did, or before, you know, before we, you know, before we lived together, she didn't really play video games, uh, so... She doesn't have the best internet. I'm currently working on that. <clears throat> I'm currently working on that. Um, I should have... I'm hoping I can get better internet before fucking uh, World of Warcraft Classic comes out so I can start streaming, but there's no guarantee of that happening. But yeah, guys, so Daunt so to kind of summarize what I'm trying to say, Dauntless is actually a really amazing experience. I love the game so much. I love the, I love the weapons. You know, there's not too many weapons, so you don't really feel overwhelmed when it comes to choosing a weapon. Me personally, I chose the repeaters because you know, I I think they're awesome. You know, I, I've been playing repeaters, um, and then also I just really like kind of like. The feel of the game. I like the art style too. The art style is really cool. Um, I like these more simplistic art styles that don't, you know, that aren't too, you know, graphically intensive that I can run it on my PC and stuff like that. Um, and then also, it's 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 a grindy game. You know, it has that Monster Hunter element where it's grindy. You know, you're going to be grinding a lot of the times. And like I said, the game is more akin to an MMO where you have to come back every week or every day, and you have to you have like these different challenges for your hunt pass. You have these different, um, and then when you do like your patrols, you you have I think like I think it's six different. Um, you have six kind of like double chest things where every where the game will give you more orbs or stones um, like 10 extra stones or orbs when you complete a patrol so I think that's pretty cool um, it gives more incentive to come back grind and stuff like that and then the game does have an upgrade system stuff like that I do want to cover more Dauntless on my channel as I really really love this game I can see the appeal I can see why a lot of people you know probably a lot of people in the community I don't know if they're saying this but I can understand where you know, if they are saying that this game isn't really like Monster Hunter, it's only like Monster Hunter in the sense of you go out and you hunt these behemoths and, you know, that, and then you just do that until you hit end game. And, which, you know, I, I'm on board with, you know, and the game doesn't have any of that, that fat that Monster Hunter has. So you're not doing like these fetch quests, you're not doing these small monster hunts or anything like, no, the game focuses, the game, the game cuts off a lot of that fat and it puts you straight into, you know, just hunting behemoths. That's what the game's focus is. And it's, they've been doing a really good job at that. So huge shout out to, uh, I think the developers called Phoenix Labs. I, I'm so sorry if that's wrong. If it's wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll correct. Myself in the, I'll create myself in the description or, you know, with a annotation, or I'm sorry, not annotation, title, uh, somewhere on the screen. So, yeah, guys, but, um, thank you all so much for watching. I want to apologize, guys, for my absence. It's been harder and harder to record because this job has been, you know, this new job, I like it, but it's been taking a lot of energy out of me, and also I'm working on, I've been working on videos for the new channel, so a lot of things have been going on, so, 
But yeah, guys, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything I missed, please let me know. I'm, I'm not shy from feedback. Um, it's how I improve. It's how anybody improves. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody and the stuff together. Okay, three.